Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you are really really well. So I am really really excited about today's video because I am bringing it back with another food video and this time I'm doing food from Australia. Woo! My American tasting food went down really well I think. Um, so I thought why not just bring another one back. I love food and I love doing these videos so I hope you enjoy them too. Let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that I have got is these Allen's Jaffa's chocolate orange in a crispy shell and they just look like this. Yeah, let's try these. And they're just like these little red balls. Oh, they're pretty hard. They're just just like Smarties. <laughs> It's just like Smarties that we have here in the UK. Um, yeah, they're really good. I mean, I think I could eat this whole bag if I want. No, I won't have another one. Yes, yeah, so they just taste like Smarties. Um, the chocolate orange isn't really that overpowering. When I saw it, I was a bit worried that you know it was going to be quite strong, but it's not. So, 8 out of 10 for them. Um, moving on to the next one. I've got these oven-baked Arnott shaped originals in a barbecue flavour. And this come in this box here. So let's give these a try. And when I was on the Australian website that I bought these from, which I think was Sansa.com or something like that, I noticed that a lot of their food, like their brands, are brands that we have here in the UK. So I wasn't kind of like spoilt for choice, but there was a lot of things that I hadn't heard of before. So some of these things you might recognise. But I did try and like defer away and get things that weren't here in the UK. So I've tried my best. So let's try one of these. And these just like these. And they're just like little crackers. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of those. They're like, barbecue is quite, like, overpowering and it leaves a bit of a, like a spicy taste in your mouth. Mm. Yeah, I'm not too keen on them. They're not really like, I mean, I love barbecue things, like barbecue crisps, um, but they're just not tickling my pickle, if you get what I mean. No. I'm going to give them like a 3 out of 10 I think. So let's move on to the next one. So the next thing I have are these Cadbury's clinkers. And obviously we do have Cadbury's here in the UK. But these clinkers I've never ever heard of. Um, has anyone else in the UK heard of them? Because I have not. And they just look like this. And I just thought they were really colourful. So why not? So let's try these. Oh they're quite long as well. They look like brizzle nuts or something. Oh they're pretty hard. Oh, oh my god, what are these? I've never tasted anything like this from Cadbury's before. It's like, it's got like this. Oh, what is it on the inside? What does it say? It says colourful candy centres dipped in smooth Cadbury milk chocolate. But the candy is like a powdery sort of sherbet type thing. I don't really know how to describe it. But I do not like that at all. Oh, I was really like rooting for these because they look so colourful. I really wanted to like them. But... Uh, no, that is a 1 out of 10 from me. If I could give it a 0, can I give it a 0? I'm going to do it. I'm going to be savage and give it a 0. No, I do not recommend those. And I love Cadbury's. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Okay, let's forget about it. We'll move on to the next thing. So the next thing I have is... What do I have? I have these Arnott's Iced Volvo. Is that all it says? That's all it says and it just looks like this. And these do look like something that I've seen here in the UK. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but I do like recognise the like, sort of thing it is. So they just look at this and it is... I think it's like a coconut and raspberry sort of filling. Or like topping. It doesn't really fit on the packaging. But I think I'm going to like it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... It's not like mind blowing, but it's nice. I love coconut. I won't talk about waffle. I love coconut. I love raspberry. And the biscuit's pretty soft, so I could definitely eat that whole packet. So I'm probably going to give that a 7 out of 10, I think. I really want to finish it. Like, I really want to finish that biscuit, but I'm not going to because I've got more things in this box. Because, as always, I think I've bought a bit too much. That's fine, you can never have too much food, you can never have too much sweets. So let's just move on to the next one. So I actually do have a drink in here. 
Um, I really wanted to get the Is It Solo that was on the website and I've heard like other Australian like YouTubers talk about the drink but of course just my luck it was out of stock so instead I got this Kirk's Pasito passion fruit flavour drink and I think it's just a soft drink but it just looks like this so let's give this a go and obviously if you watched my American video you know I wasn't too keen on the drink so I'm kind of hoping this one is better Oh, it's actually quite fizzy. I thought it was going to be like a still drink. It's not too bad. I actually really like that. It's really like refreshing. I think it's like something you would drink on holiday, which I mean is fitting for Australia because like it's like sunny and tropical. Tropical? Is it? Is Australia tropical? I think I'm just talking on my but no. But yeah, I really, really like that. That's like really like refreshing. So I'm going to give that a 8 out of 10. Yeah, let's move on to the next thing. And the next thing I have is these Allen's strawberries and cream, uh, like, ooh, like sweeties. Um, and I think a lot of the brands are quite the same, like Allen's and Allen's and Arnott's. Um, so we've got quite. Okay, they have just gone everywhere. That's fine. So they just look like these, and they look like the Haribo eggs. That's what they remind me of. The strawberries and cream. So. Let's try them. Hmm, they're really good. They're pretty chewy. Um, I can't really taste the strawberry if I'm honest. I can taste like creamy vanilla sort of flavour. But the strawberry flavour I'm not getting. But I mean it's fine. I'm not like mad at it. Um, I could eat them. Like all of them. I mean, what couldn't I eat all of? To be honest, it's me. I can eat whatever. <laughs> I feel like I'm not very good at like describing flavours, but I hope you're understanding what I mean when I say these things. Because you're just gonna be like, girl, what are you talking about? Like you're saying the same crap for everything. Did I rate those? Um, seven out of ten? I can't even remember. So let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing I'm gonna move on is another Cadbury's thing, and it is the Cadbury's Caramello Koala, which is just these here, and I got like a big bag of these things to get them individually, but I was like, no, I think I'm gonna like these, so I'm gonna get more. And then they just have these like little bars inside and they look like the um, caramel Freddo bars that we have here in the UK or if anyone remembers way back from being a kid, the caramel Tasmanian Devil bars that um, we used to have. So that's why I thought I'm definitely going to like these so I'll buy loads. And they just look like these little cute koalas, like how cute is that? So let's try this. I knew I was gonna like this. It's just Cadbury's chocolate, which I love. Caramel in the middle, you can't go wrong. Oh my God, it's so delicious, I'm gonna eat like, it all. Delicious. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is, next thing I'm gonna do, next thing I'm gonna eat, are these Lifesavers Fruit Tingles. And they look like this. And I got these because I thought I wanted to get something that was a bit, not like chewable, you know, like hard candy. I think that's what it is anyway, I'm not too sure. If I can get into them. Oh no. Looking at them, I think they're all different colours. And this one's green, so I'm just going to pop some. Oh my god, it's so sour. Oh, definitely tingles. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, it's like the sourest thing I've ever had in my life. I don't like it. Wash it down. Oh god, they were awful. If you're into like fruity, sour sort of sweets then you're definitely going to love them but if you don't then I wouldn't pick those up in the shop. I'm going to give them a 0 out of 10. Yep, we're going to go all in. I have two things left so the next thing I'm going to go in with is this Cadbury's Cherry Ripe Double Dip and I've never ever seen one of these before in my life so I thought mm, let's give it a go. I don't just like this in the middle. Mm. So it's got dark chocolate on the outside, which I'm not too keen on. It's not too bad, actually. I mean, I could eat it. If I could only have like one chocolate bar, I wouldn't pick this up. But if it was there in the cupboard and I was bored and wanted something to eat, I would definitely eat this. So I'm probably going to give it like a five out of ten. A bit like, a bit neutral, a bit Switzerland. Yeah, it's not too bad. So five out of ten. And the last thing that I have got in my Australian food box of goodies. I couldn't have an Australian food test in without bringing these and they are 
Tim Tams. And I've heard so many things about Tim Tams. I think people compare them to a penguin bar um, here in the UK. So I'm hoping that they taste similar or better because I love penguin bars. Unfortunately, they don't have any jokes on the side of the packet like we do here in the UK, but that's fine. We'll make our own entertainment. And they just look like these little biscuits and they do look like penguin bars, so. They're a lot lighter than penguin bars. Like, the taste is a lot lighter. They definitely taste similar. I think they're a lot more chocolatey in the middle, but I really like them actually. Yeah, definitely see where people are coming from when they compare them to them. Although I think I do definitely prefer a penguin bar. So, sorry Australians if you're watching. It's delicious, but it doesn't beat the penguin bar. I don't know if you've tried one. Unfortunately, that's everything that I've got in my box of goodies. I really wish I had more because I would love to be trying more Australian food, candy, drinks. I wish there was more like a variety, but it's all I could get my hands on. So if you have any recommendations of things I should try for, like from Australia, like candy, food, whatever, then let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy this type of videos, like the trying American food, trying Australian food, and you want me to do any more, then please let me know as well, and like what sort of food you'll want, like, I don't know, like Japanese, or German, or I don't know, because any excuse to eat, I'm there. So yeah, thank you so much for watching as always, um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!